Now what we're going to do with the iron is I'm going to show you that as much as the driver needed to be hit high on the face because of its design, the iron clubs, because you hit the ball from the ground or from the turf, you must use the lower one inch of the club to hit the ball with. The lower one inch, not the middle one inch of the club. So the marks when you hit the ball correctly with an iron should be about line five on down. So if line five from the bottom is one, two, three, four, five lines up, from there down, that's where your marks should be in order to hit the ball first on the way down. And if you happen to hit the ball with the heel of the club here, what I would suggest you do is put a ball right here by the toe of where your club would be so that if you hit the ball on the heel, you would hit that other ball. And you will know that when you've made your swing, if you hit that other ball, you will have hit it on the heel of the club. If you're a chronic heel hitter, using this two ball drill where the ball is just two inches away from the object ball that you're going to hit. And I mean that if, if I hit it dead center on the club face here, I should not touch that ball and that's all. I should be close enough with the other ball that I don't touch it if I hit the ball correctly. If I hit it with the heel of the club, I will certainly hit both balls. So this is a way of getting an idea of what to do and hitting it out. Instead of hitting it on the heel of the club now, I can hit it more toward the toe. There's a shot hit from the heel, as you can see, and it just nudged that other ball. Did you see that? It just nudged it a little bit. I shouldn't be that far out there. I need to be another inch toward the center of the face because the quality of modern golf clubs lives a little further toward the toe than toward the heel. You will always, if you make your mistake a quarter of an inch toward the toe, you will get more distance than if you make your mistake a quarter of an inch toward the heel. It's also very dangerous. I want to point out that the face area is what at the school we call the big flat area. This heel over here, the hosel, the shank, whatever you want to call it, is the little round area. Always better to use the big flat area to hit it with rather than the little round area, okay? So always, you've got all kinds of room out here and I'm always amazed that how chronically this area gets used. And I think one of the reasons it does is for athletes who are used to playing baseball and tennis where the part of the club coming out of your hand goes straight to the sweet spot with a baseball bat, the part of the club coming out of your hand with a golf club goes right to the heel of the club. And so kinesthetically, your instincts tell you to hit the ball with the extension of your hands, and that would be the end of the club. But in fact, you have to swing the extension of your hands somewhere on this side of where the ball is. That's so that when you move the shaft, when you move the shaft at the, uh, at the target this time, instead of it being close to the other ball, it's going to be in here. And there's the shot that gets it to the center of the face. Very small. It's a teeny little fine motor skill change or adjustment that you have to make. It isn't a mechanical problem. It's an eye-hand coordinated problem and that's what you have to use to fix it. So when you have a problem in the other direction, which is to say that you hit the ball on the toe of the club, our recommendation is you put a ball back here so that you don't accidentally swing here and hit it on the toe of the club and hit it with the hosel of the ball back here. And in that case then, the ball back here is a reminder to swing a bit farther away from you than you think. So the ball behind it, or the ball out on the toe side, are the two simple two ball drills that you can use depending on what the face tape tells you. If you're chronically hitting it on the heel, put a ball out by the toe so that you don't hit that ball. If you're chronically hitting it on the toe, put a ball inside here by the heel so that you don't touch that ball with the heel and it makes you swing out a little farther. Any of those little reminders are going to be significant in helping you do this. Now I just want to point out and show a little demonstration visually 
just how fine the difference is between the heel shot and the perfect shot and how little motion is necessary to make the change. In fact, if I have the club in this position right here at impact, that would be a perfect shot. This would be a horrible shot. So here's perfect to a horrible high on the toe shot where you hit it fat. Here's a perfect shot. Here's a really bad shot. Perfect, really bad. So the difference is so small that you can't possibly control it with big muscles. Golf is a fine motor skill. Make no mistake. Golf is a fine motor skill and you need to develop your fine motor skills to be as good as you would like to be.